Christmas shop, Christmas shop, Christmas shop, Christmas shop corner. Christmas shop, Christmas shop, Christmas shop corner. Everybody, Christmas shop corner. This isn't the song we're going to do. Christmas shop Jingle corner. bells, we are great on jingle bells. Is it? Christmas shop, Christmas shop corner. Everybody, no, we're not. That was really just... okay, sorry about that. I Ooh. thought we were going to do. No, we agreed on jingle bells. Oh, rise up on oh, the Christmas shop no. in the world, gonna I'm rise up. It's not a Christmas song, is it? When are these Christmas shops gonna rise up? It's not, up? even if you, when are these Christmas you can't shops just gonna rise put Christmas up, into the word up. of anything and it automatically becomes a Christmas song. Because then, because it also reminded me of Christmas shop gonna make you jump, jump. So it was a song that sounded like that. Mm. Okay, we have a lot to get through. Yeah, but we've I'm been so excited because uh, we've got coffee. Happy Christmas Eve, by the way, if you're watching this on Christmas Eve, which is when I'm going to put it out. Merry Christmas Eve. Probably shooting ourselves in the foot because that gives it a very short window. Oh well. <laughs> but we've got so many Christmas specials this year. So many. But I wanted to do a, well mainly because we've been stockpiling Christmas food for months. I've been waiting a whole month to drink this coffee. Yeah. And we, that took a lot of self-control. We were, um, you'll know by now, by the way, because I might have put it in before the credits, whether Paul Gannon features in this episode. Because <laughs> we were going to have him here. He was actually yes. going to be part of Corner Shop Corner He was going to taste the food uh, and drink the drinks with us. But we went into tier three lockdown, so he's not here anymore. Um, and he did say he might record a message. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm hoping this might make me feel a little bit more Christmassy than I have been feeling. I have Aww. I have struggled a little bit this year. Well, because it's uh, not it hasn't been a very it hasn't been a very festive year or well happy plus as well year. I've just been stuck in the same bloody rooms for all year. Yeah. And I don't know. There's been so little sort of variation. The the main sort of variation of the year has been sort of my creative life. So yeah. This is like a Patreon video. This is the sort of stuff we talk about on there. I ain't ready to get, I know. To get We've this just, off my chest. Yeah, I know. We've just done a long Patreon video, which is basically a therapy session. Yeah, you can Christmas you can, theme. You can go watch that by supporting us. <laughs> Christmas theme therapy yeah. session. But and now look, we've bought it here as well. I am going to put up and I'm going to create an image that is very Christmassy. To make that, up for yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to put up now. So if any of you are struggling uh, to get into the Christmas spirit, uh, just take a look at this image. Look at it for r roughly 10 to 20 seconds and that should work. It's coming up. One, two, three, now. so Christmassy. Yeah. Wow, I can oh feel my God. bells jingling. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, we've got yes. we've got too much food here. Way too much. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Yeah, I mean, we just kept buying. You then started buying drinks. I bought a bunch of stuff. It's it's out of control. I have to say, not all of this is from our corner shop. Some of it is, one thing. Uh, but some of it we did get online. Some You yes. got recommended some beverages. Yes. So should friend, we start with them yes. because they're hot? And he and... actually, yes. So it was. Oh wait! Oh, we got a present. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, but our coffee's getting cold. We'll have the coffee, <laughs> then we'll do presents. <laughs> <laughs> Present. Thanks to everyone who sent us one. It's just one person. Stop that. We got a card. Yeah, Try we did. sent us a card. Thank you card. for our card. Um, and I know a couple of people have sent, have started sending us stuff. But we don't um, even have a P.O. box anymore. No, so. it goes to the Cheap Show's house. <laughs> We've house swapped. Cheap Show. We've swapped. Yeah, so if you send us out, it'll go there first. So please mark it for digitizer, because then I have to go around and pick it up off Gannon. Oh, how the tables have turned. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's some stuff coming on the way, which sadly isn't here in time for this Christmas special. But we have got something there from, from somebody. But anyway, we're going to do the coffees, then we'll have the present. Yes. Right. right. Okay, so, talk me through these. Okay, so, what are we what are we looking at here? I had to, oh, oh what God. the hell? Oh what's going on? You've just what's I just, going on? I broke a peg. 
Um, okay, so one of our lovely viewers recommended. Do you know the viewer's name? Max. Max. Recommended. Max Power. I hope that's what you would like your username to be. Max. Yeah, but well, some people don't like to be called by their real name. It might not be your real name. What sort of idiot, what sort of idiot doesn't want to be called by their real name? <laughs> now, now, Biffo. Um, anyway, Max recommended and also told us that we can do this because basically now in the age of, especially the pandemic, the whole internet is our corner shop. And the whole world is our corner yeah. shop. So well, it is technically a corner shop thing. corner. I did, I did buy some of the stuff we've got today off a website called cornershop.co.uk. Get out of here. Yeah, I thought Get that was out perfect. Of here. So, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Anyway, so Max recommended your Emporium, who do lots of lovely speciality coffees. It's not like sponsored, we're not. I know. Oh, we, we should I wish. be. I wish. Um, um, they've made a Christmas coffee, and in it, <sighs> It says on the packet, it's an exceptionally festive. As it start again. Mm, the packet small. describes the. You can edit that weird bit out. Well, the, I'm not nice, staying. <laughs> Christmassy. <laughs> really Christmassy. So the packet describes. <laughs> <laughs> we really need. I mean, we've waited hours to oh, have a coffee. Man. We've usually had about ten by now. If you're one of our we've patrons, had five. you'll know why I'm struggling a little bit. Oh yeah. But you're, yeah. I'm afraid you're going to have to give us money to find out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so like it says, so like it says, like, come oh, on. It's really Christmas. Yeah, um, I'm, getting, I'm getting the atmosphere here. <laughs> really Christmas. It's an exceptionally festive coffee with delicate cranberry and quince. Quince. Oh. I've only, okay, I, I worked at a supermarket briefly when I was like 19 and my ancient history teacher came in. She was the only person I ever saw that actually bought a quince from the supermarket. It Like no one ever bought the quinces. And then she bought it, and I was like, I was so impressed. It used to be a, a show, didn't it? Did it? Uh, yeah, the the detective show, Cranny and Quince. Cranberry and Quince. No, Cranny. It was Cranny and Quince. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On ITV, it was on ITV on Sunday nights. Really? Is that because in here there's Cranberry and Quince? Well, I don't know. It was an ITV show called Cranny. Was and there? Quince. Was there? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the adventures of Cranny 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 Quince Cranny 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 Quince Anyway, so it's got cranberry quince, smooth vanilla and a honey body and a sweet clementine finish. So I've done yours black. I've all one of those. I've done. Oh, and the other coffee. Wait, should I introduce both now? Mm. Or separately. It's got Tory MPs out, wouldn't it? Sweet, okay, let's do one at a time. Finish. So this is the York Emporium one. Let's smell it. What do they have? It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, tell me. Sorry, I'm so excited to drink coffee that I'm I'm sorry. Who needs to actually drink coffee? You just you get the buzz <gasps> just from Oh my god. It's all over the place. Oh, no, no, smell this. Oh that that is div divine. That is divine. So here's my That's thing. So nice. The smell is so gorgeous. Here's my thing, right? I don't really like coffee. I drink, I drink a shit ton of it, <laughs> but I don't really like it. It's just a medicinal thing. You just thing like for the me. effect of it. Yeah. Um, I've come to. It's sort like of ADHD like, medication. I, yeah. Well, it's not really because it makes it worse. Uh, it, it's. It, I've come to kind of like the ritual of having my morning coffees. It, it is open and, and it might Yeah, I know. That's fine. If that happens, it happens. <laughs> it's Christmas. Brown snow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's um, precious. The, yeah, so I don't really like it. So I, I'm not remotely excited about these. because no, it's the just smell, gonna be, Come on. Yeah, it smells oh, disgusting. So Coffee no, doesn't smell good. Oh, it smells so good. I've just got used good. to it. I don't even want to drink it. I just want to smell it. Well, eat it. Smell anyway, it, let's. It. shall we have a sip? So yeah. this is we're we're gonna pit it against another Christmas coffee by Cafe Direct, and this one is a Christmas blend, which is a rich and full blood, full bloodied, full, full, full bloodied. <laughs> is that rich, what it says? Yeah. It does say full bloodied. Full bloodied. Why are you laughing? With at that notes then? of dark chocolate and spices. Oh, okay. Oh, dark right. chocolate. Let's smell this one. Mm, nice. We... Not as nice. Not as nice. The smell isn't as distinct. It's like not this as strong. Is, this, you can, it's like, wow. This is like pure coffee beans. I can smell this for longer. This is, wow. And this is, this is, 
you kind of go, is there a smell there? I mean, I can smell it. It's just like compared to this. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I didn't know that was going to go in my eyes. Got in my eyes. Well, it'd be funny to do a breathing thing. <laughs> Yeah, this one, it's it's okay, but I've been spoiled by the smell of this one already. Okay, can we just drink <laughs> this bloody coffee? we got a lot to do. It's so good. Shut up. It's boring. It's, not... it's really boring. It's not oh, coffee man, shop corner. So Stop it. Don't, people don't come here just to watch you sniffing coffee for half an hour. <laughs> God's <laughs> sake. Can we just drink the bloody stuff? Get to the good stuff. All right, this is... <laughs> This is, I've overfilled my mug. What? Uh, what That's am I... your one. So this is the this is the this is the one that you like. This is the, the I like the smell of. So okay, let's have a sit. I'll go, I'll move away from the. Right, mine's black. Sanya's is white. We've got our digi mugs. Yeah, I don't like. Oh, this just tastes like coffee. A type of coffee. I'm trying not to. Oh, make, don't worry about it. it. Just drink the bloody coffee. I like. It's camera. delicious. Do you know what? I have to say, right. I had to get the cafetiere version of the roast. They also do um, stovetop uh, blends and I don't know if there's another one. I would usually hate cafetiere coffee. I don't know. There's something about oh it God, that I don't so like. this is so boring. This is so boring. No, it's really interesting. I'm really getting annoyed. So... I usually don't like cafetiere right, coffee. Right, how many corners? Just I get love... on with it. This is nice. I actually like it. Oh, yeah, they do the mocha stovetop thing, which I would love to have. Um, I did put one on my Christmas list. Oh, but anyway, this is for the cafetiere. So how many corners would you give it? I don't know. It's just coffee. I give all coffee two out of four. All coffee. Mm, that was a big swallow. Um, mm, four out of four. That's okay, great. delicious. Right, good. Love Let's it. Move on to the next Can't one. Say Mm, sorry, that was really loud. Can't say I can taste the quince or the clementine. No, it tastes like... Or the like, cranberry. It just tastes like burnt coffee. But there's no clementine. Roasted brown. I can't taste the... Texture, um. Like I can't bombs. taste... Oh, maybe I can. No, I think oh I can. God. I'm subtle hints. Okay, you've given it four. We have to move okay, on. Four. That's the rule. Okay, so next one, Cafe Direct. The cat's gone insane. <laughs> the cat's even gone the cat's mental. Bored. The cat's bored. She's gone mental. With your coffee talk. <laughs> With her pipe clip. Oh, my what God. What the hell is she doing? Right, here's our <laughs> thing, right? Our cat, <laughs> Penny. Pipe. By the way, shout out to the person in the comments <laughs> who always says hello to Penny. She says hello back, right? She says she, hello back. Yeah. Hi from Penny. She's obsessed with pipe cleaners. This is not... Her like, favourite toy. This cat is like stoic. <laughs> okay, she's just stoic. She doesn't show any sign of... That is so not true. She's very stoic. You cannot get further. She's the most loving cat that we have. Oh, Tully's well, kind of loving. Tully's kind of... Um, That's easy for um... you to say. <laughs> but you give this cat a pipe cleaner, it's like she's like on, on freaking acid. <laughs> she goes she insane. She becomes an acrobat and everything. Yeah. So if you hear weird sounds in the background, it's the cat, you know, going Literally completely... doing flips and spins. Yeah. It's like, you know, like some mad, drugged up dervish. Now she, it's over there, but she's looking for it under the sofa. Yeah, look, she doesn't even know where it is. It, it's right oh, there. It's groin. Right, can we drink the okay. other one, please? Because yes. I really so, need to move on. All right, so this, this one is the Cafe Direct Christmas Blend number four. Uh... Which is duck with the butcher Jesus God, Christ! I don't know what's going on. Drink the coffee. Say whether it's any good. You've already introduced. You've already discussed and this coffee. Okay, dark chocolate and spices. I'm never doing bloody tea or coffee again. Mm. We've also got teas to taste. All right, that's more drinkable because it hasn't got the horrible mm. burnt thing. Two point five. I need to taste them both next to each other. No, oh, good for you. You do that in your own time on your your own channel. Stop scratching. Okay, so here's the thing. Oh, God, Delicious. Thing. I thought I wasn't going to like it because of its lack of depth in aroma. But um, I love them both. Uh, the York Emporium one has slightly more flavor. So it's... Does. I gave it a four. So I'm going to give this one four and a half. And then uh, oh, so Cafe really, Direct Christmas. You can't go back. Four. You can't go back. The cat. It's just like this is... <laughs> scuttled sideways wow yeah 
four and a half and four because they are both top right. top coffees. Move on. That's better. That's better. Right, present. Let's Check. Take, there's a card with an there's avocado card. on it. Yay! I want to show you the wrapping paper. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Isn't that cool wrapping paper? Uh, I'm really impressed. It's foliage. Oh, and this oh, oh, Christmas tree sticker. Yeah. Please open the present when you get it. Don't wait for the 25th. Ah. Well, we're not waiting for the 25th. Do you Shall want to read no, the card? No, we do the card first. Yeah, do the card. We're polite like that. Avocado card. Yay. Avocado. <laughs> what? Avocado. Avocado. Oh, oh, very good. Oh, Jesus. Right, dear Paul and Sanyas, for us, please find in clothes something that I felt compelled to make for you for the festive season. I really hope that you like him. In the end, it was hard to give him away, so I may make another for myself. Thank you so much for the care that you took in packaging Muriel. Oh, we know who this is from. Him. Uh, is Muriel. he wanted? No, actually, I know exactly. There he's are a couple wanted. of photos of her with this present in the bottom of the bag. The varnish is still very slightly tacky. Oh, it suits us. Uh, but that should resolve soon. Blessed you all to you both. Love, Kathy and Luke. Thank, Thank you. Kathy and Luke. Oh, I'm so excited. Right. Uh, uh, uh. She's Kathy has um, assured yeah. me that he's not haunted. And and the Muriel, if you remember our Halloween special, was the haunted doll that we we gave away, and it was Kathy who claimed it. What's going on here? Oh. oh no, now I've seen what he is. Oh no. <laughs> it's spoiled the surprise. Oh, well, right, right, right. oh, so cool. Well, we shall put up these photos for you to see. With beans. That's so cool. Oh, I don't want to rip the paper. Oh, you're one of oh, these. I'm going to have to rip the paper. No, I do in the end. <gasps> oh, what, what on earth? On earth? You made this. Oh my god. <gasps> the bean hat. I mean, that is freaking oh my god awesome. i'm not even I, i'm not even doing it i'm not even that doing is a youtube phenomenal kind of i don't oh, want to be too loud in there but but overreaction that's, but that's phenomenal we'll you do some close-ups you I actually thank you made so him. much that is i'm blown away his hat, the detail. his hat the, the bean detail hat. the beans <gasps> and the the stand is bean colored oh my god all the beat oh. i mean i'll say it now that's amazing. That, that is now automatically one of my favourite possessions. Yeah. That I'm blown away. Sure, not being us here for this. Oh, well, there's still time. Yeah. I like beans. I do. That's my main thing. My main thing is that I like beans. But 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 beans. One big bean. That's a big bean. That is one but but big bean. Uh, uh, beans. Jelly Belly holiday favourites. Now, I've got to admit something here. Uh oh. I got these last year as well. Oh. Off of eBay. Cats have we? Ha have we? I tried did get them? them last year. I have tried them. I don't really remember them. Oops. So it's basically it's not Christmas favourites. So they should have him. No, Next no, I don't trust him up there. That's oh, okay. why I put him down there. I don't want us to him to fall and us to break him. Okay. You yeah. know what we're oh, like. Okay. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, do not. Let's don't have them anywhere near you and I. <laughs> okay. So it's a holiday favourite as opposed to Christmas favourites. So they are more American-esque flavours. So in here, you've got eggnog. By the way, if anyone notices how scabby my hands are, I've not got leprosy. I tried to do some plumbing. Uh, so we've got eggnog, yeah, candy the cane. The less we say about that, the less better. less we say about that, the better. That was... Eggnog, candy cane, pumpkin pie which we wouldn't have at Christmas here, ever. Uh, cranberry sauce, which we would, and hot chocolate. Sadly, no turkey flavour. That would have been good, wouldn't it? No? Well, I'd have liked that. I'd like to try that. I'm really curious about right. the eggnog and the pumpkin pie flavour. Now, eggnog, you see, here we have Love snowballs, it. Advocar. We have, you have eggnog. made eggnog. I have, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I oh, know it's great. I prefer. Maybe I should make it again. For the avocado with lemonade. So, what should we? Where's the Where's the lid gone? The lid's gone. It's gone. It's vanished into a. Run Did you put it underneath? 
Rise up. Every Christmas shop is going to rise up. Okay. Do you want to try... Um, eggnog, please. You're just going so, straight into eggnog. Now, we're not going to we're not gonna rank the individual flavours. We're going to rank... As a, as whole. a whole. Okay. Okay. Which right. could, of course, you know, because Dilly Bellies tend to be a mixed bag. Everyone's got their favourites. But we're going to do this as a, as a whole, as a collection of holiday favourites. Okay. Right. Oh, so do you think we should go in order? Yeah. Let's go in order. Yeah, don't so... just jump into the one you think is going to be your favourite. Hot chocolate. Yeah. With Errol Brown as a reference for your kids. Right. Now, I've got a technique for eating Jelly Bellies. Oh, now you tell me. I like to crack the shell with my teeth and then suck. <laughs> like soften the cell shell. Oh, now I'm getting it. Mm. You have to wait a while for the... the... Mm. It's all right. Mm. I mean, not overpowering. It's a very slow release of flavour. What's your flavor, and... favourite jelly belly? Have you got one? Oh, my God. I don't remember any of the flavours. Oh. Name a flavour. They probably do it. I don't have a flavour. I don't... I can't remember. If anyone's interested, mine is pear. Oh, that's it. That is yeah. interesting. <laughs> would like to buy me a whole packet of pear. <laughs> do they sell, like, single packets of, like, them. single flavours? Ah, stuck in my throat. Mm. Yeah, that was... That's nice. That's nice. It's... Stuck in my throat. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, now you can have your eggnog. Yeah, get in. I mean, I wasn't blown away by that, but it's mm. fine. It wasn't disgusting like some. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting the nog. Is the yeah? Oh, that nog is stronger. Mm. And I've got the oh, it's got the um. Oh, what do I call top of it? Nutmeg. I'm getting nutmeg on my nog. <laughs> not for the first time yeah um yeah um i'm liking that one i'm I liking like that a not it's got the the eggy creaminess it's really weird it's like just a nutmeg flavor nah you're not i getting... mean it tastes do you think it tastes a bit alcoholy uh, i think it does the cat is still going we... mad by the way oh yeah she's she just... hasn't stopped so she's digging at the floor now she's frantically licking oh, no she's seen her yeah. tail Oh my god, she's seen her tail and she's frozen. She thinks she's on camera. She's staring. She's got her tail. She missed it. Right, next one. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, yes. Right. Okay, I'm liking the nog. I'm liking the nog. I'm liking the chocolate. Like the nog more. Subtle. Yeah, it's, it's a bit not really... nothing. Not very strong. Yeah. Nog had the strongest flavour so far. Nog was pretty full. Candy on. cane. Oh, they should have been just striped. Wipe them. Just wipe them off. Should have made them striped. Oh, look at this one. This one's like. Oh, got vomit some flavour. Sort of... Oh, no, this is more powerful. Mmm. Mmm. Pepperminty. Peppermint. That's a strong one. That could be overwhelming. Oh, toothpaste. Yeah, it tastes like toothpaste. Mm. Tastes like toothpaste. Do you, oh, I'm gonna have cranberry and then I'm gonna try something. Okay, the minty one. I mean, it's nice, but it's very toothpastey. Yeah, I've got a plan. So, so we do it by, by itself. No, we we'll do cran cranny first. Cranny and quinch. No. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm. Telling you, with jelly bellies, it's always. Mm. It's always the fruit ones that are best. Always the fruit ones. Um. <laughs> private joke. It wasn't rude. <laughs> but it was a private joke. The cranny is the best. Cranny, I knew the cranny would be best. Well, because, let's drink to that. Fruit, yeah, I need to wash my palate before I attempt my thing. <laughs> Up so that we need to do. Stop, could you please stop singing that bloody it's song? Really stuck in my Jesus head. Christ! People are going to get pissed off and leave comments. Okay. Okay, because it's annoying stop. me. I will go and leave comments if you don't stop. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Oh yeah, it gets stuck in my head. We're on a bloody YouTube video. You don't 
repeat the same bit of music over and over again. Oh my God, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, okay, annoying. Fine in your own life when I've got headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't hear you. Do not do that. All right. Just. I know I'm feisty just, today. No, just cut that bit out. It's too I don't late. Want, no, I don't want you getting um, a copyright strike. Well, that's fine. One bit. Right. So what you need to do as a video. Yeah. Is. Uh, shows how relaxed, by the way, on video you are now that you just don't even realise. You just start singing the song. Oh, no, but I, I don't like seeing myself do it. So I would appreciate it if you cut it out. No. I hate it when I get silly. It's like, ugh, I cringe at it so much. I don't we all. So, I cringe at myself so, all the time. So you can please... Oh, you've no idea. I get got, rid I, of it. You know what I got from the... Because the Digi Christmas Carol panto thing. Yeah. It's basically my performance turns into Venus about halfway through. Yes. I had Venus's voice stuck in my head from the editing. I woke up with Venus's voice in my head. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. You got a Venus earworm. Yeah. Right. So, I think we should do an episode, a Jelly Belly episode at some point, where we do Jelly Belly recipes, because it's one of the things they do where you mix flavours uh, really? to make other things. So, I'm going to have a go. Hot chocolate and candy cane after eight <gasps> after yes. eight yes yeah after eight as well? so our American viewers they're basically chocolate filled with toothpaste and they're very nice and they're, they're very thin and nice dark chocolate after eight after eight isn't it that's an after eight Clever, isn't it? Yeah. You're basically like um Heston Blumenthal. Yeah, Heston Blumenthal. You're a you're Most a culinary box. scientist. So, out of uh corners out of four. We've got a lot to get through. Mm. Oh, give it a three or four. I'm gonna give three. three. I'm gonna give three because a couple of the uh flavours are a bit bit lackluster. Mm. Um, however, we were able to get an after eight flavour for a more UK yeah, centred. So, uh, see, that took it up a notch. Yeah. That really did. So I'm going to say three and a half because it is very good. Yeah. But I'm mindful that the coffee's are on a four and four and a half. So. Yeah. Three, I think, overall. Yeah. Uh, I like it as a bit of a fun, festive distraction. My main thing with Jelly Belly is I like them recreating other things. That's my main. That's my. That that's my main enjoyment with Jelly Belly you is seeing like how recreating, like, like recreating bricks and no, no, no. I, I like how closely they can recreate other flavors in Jelly Belly form or Jelly Bean form. Oh, when you that's, mix them. That, no, just in general. Oh. It's one. It's the main thing I like about Jelly Belly, is that it's it is the accuracy level. And you kind of eat it and go, God, that does taste like dot, dot, dot. Yeah, that's true. That's it's yeah. the main enjoyment with it. Yes. Let's move on. Okay, moving right along. Crisps. Let's oh, do some crisps. Favorite. No, let's stay sweet before let's we say go sweet. savory. Chocolates. Okay. So, We've got a few chocolates there and one of them I can't have, but you can. Well, should I have that? Yes. Because that did come from the corner shop. Yes. Twix Winter Spice. How does everyone eat their Twix? The correct way, of course, is to bite off the top and then... What? You bite off Since the chocolate and the, and the caramel and then... Oh, and then leave the biscuit base. Then you can eat the biscuit base at the end, but that's just like cleaning up. How do you eat your mince pies? Just like normal. Oh, see, I discovered yesterday that one of my daughters eats them like I do, where you eat the edge first, then the roof, right. and then you eat the rest. Sometimes you can it's scoop mental. out the mince meat. That's, that's oh, shout out to John Vaness because I, if I remember correctly, John Vaness likes mince meat. It's just delicious. What? It, yeah, if I remember, he mentioned that. Okay, they're all years, they're all going. Who's John? Years, okay, most of the people ago. are going. Who's John Vaness? It's okay. They, it can be a mystery. Okay, hello, John. Hi, John. Um, this has gone now. This is melted in my hand. Oh no. I don't really want a Twix winter spice. I'm just saying it. I don't need Twix to go wintry, but I'm gonna give it a go. Was such an aggressive bite. We've got a lot to go. So. Was such an aggressive bite. It's like you're, you're. It was. It was basically you saying, "I hate you, Twix," and attacking it. And I'll eat it in the proper way. Okay, and then see if the flavour improves. So, what's spicy about it? I'll tell you in a minute. 
No, I am eating the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Now I've got chocolate fingers. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. I'll just have some more coffee while we're waiting. Mm, so true. That's made me happy. That's it's... very, very nice. Has that upped your Christmas levels? It has. I wasn't expecting to like that. Tastes like mince pie. That's that's very nice. I'm so jealous. I wasn't expecting that to be good. I just thought it was going to be just dicking around for no reason with a with an established formula. I can't believe you said that. Sorry, that's actually really nice. That's really really nice. That's getting that's getting the full four from me. This tastes like it tastes like mince pie. Twix Winter Spice getting everyone if they've not sold out. You've got another one as yeah. well. Oh, you've got the other half and the other wow. one. Wow. I'm going to have to go up to the corner shop and get some more for people because I might give those as gifts this year. <laughs> that would be a good stocking filler. Yeah. Oh, need. okay. Let's do that. Okay. Very nice. That's getting the full four. Whoa. The four. And he's a hard marker. Mm. I want to eat the other one now, but I realise I've got other things to do. Yes. So, should we stick sweet? Stick to sweet. Uh, there is chocolate orange. Yeah. But it's not chocolate, it is... But it is chocolate. Cranberry. It's, oh. not, it's not just pure cranberry. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It is chocolate before anyone <laughs> freaks out and goes, oh, have, have Terry's lost their mind? <laughs> just made like a, a, a fruit bar. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone healthy. They've gone insane. We um, we wanted it oh, yeah. to be healthy. You, you open it up and literally it's not even a bar, just like cranberries. Mushed up cranberries. For those who aren't in the UK, Terry's chocolate orange is a stocking staple in the UK. It's a it's the chocolate orange with, with segments. It's quite something. It's like a ball of uh, chocolate all cut into segments, and you cannot open this thing without like smacking it onto a table it. or something. Yeah, that's part of the fun. Yeah, it comes in a box. Yes. You can now get a Terry's white chocolate orange as well can't you i think i have done mm -hmm. that in recent years um i'm not sure i've ever seen it in bar form i mean that does take away part of the fun of the dairy's chocolate orange is is smashing it yeah i mean i could you can still I could smash just, it just smash it it broke all right that's still not as fun as the tap and peel to that. open so this is Terry's chocolate orange flavored chocolate with cranberry <gasps> in it. There's segments. Oh, it's segged. I'm sorry. What? Oh no, you broke it into segments. You actually. Oh. 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 Segments. Whoa. But that's still not as good as the orange, but anyway. That's cool. So has it got, oh, it has got cranberry pieces in there. Does it? Cranberry flavored. Yeah, look. Look at the broken part. Oh yeah. I don't think mine does. It smells like a Terry's chocolate orange. Oh, but it actually smells cranberry-like. It? it actually smells cranberry like. Snozberry smells like snozberry. Mmm. 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 That is amazing. You need to mix chocolate with coffee. I'm Sorry. not getting a lot of cranberry. Oh, that's so good. I am. Mmm. I am. Mmm. It's subtle, isn't it? I think I'm tasting orange still. What are you talking about? Cranberry juice. Oh, it does have red orange oil in it. Yeah, I I, I thought I was just still detecting orange flavour. Well, you are. It's a Terry's yeah. chocolate orange it's chocolate It's orange bar. and cranberry. Correct. Why would, so they call, why would they call it Terry's chocolate orange otherwise? Because that was their name. I thought, <laughs> I thought that they were just like adding. I thought that they would. <laughs> oh, ghost. <laughs> You're right there? Yeah. I thought that they were. Be the neighbours putting bloody cards through the door. <laughs> oh, well, that's we so have to bad. Then go and give them oh, one. oh, I'm Mr. Christmas. I love Christmas. It's the most important day of the year for me. Who said Better that? Not be you. When did I ever say that? In the Patreon video. I think I said literally the opposite in the Patreon video this year. So did you used to love your neighbours putting cards? No, oh no, I've never liked interacting with the neighbours. Full stop. <laughs> oh, God. It's so antisocial. What? I don't even know them. Yeah, well, Wait, that's how you get to know them. The bloke down there, the 
who lived, who worked at home base, mm. he uh, he once complained. He ended up working at home base with a mate of mine, right? And complained to him that that uh, oh yeah, um, Paul keeps to himself. But I live in a different house to you, mate. Not even a, like quite away down the street. Yeah, they're quite away. They wanted us to like hang out with them and stuff. And our kids do all play together. His daughter became some big YouTuber or social really? media star. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, you know, he, uh, yeah, he didn't like the fact that I didn't want to hang out with him. Well, sorry, I don't know who you are. Well, that's, you get to know him. Anyway. anyway. What are you going to give that? I'm giving that like it's a right. 10 out of 4. It is it no, you is can't do that. Amazing. That's ridiculous. I'm giving it like a giant banner You're, of love. No, I'm capping, with hearts all over it. I'm capping Cram- it at four. I'm, I'm capping it at four. I'm giving it hearts made out of cranberries all around the banner. This isn't and on cinema. Yeah, well, they do bags of popcorn. I'm giving it a banner. I'm not giving it like numbers. You realise that if you do this for every one, mm. I've then got a, it's extra editing for me. You don't have to. You can just leave it me saying that. You no, don't ju- to, no, I can. You don't have to. I can put it up. Banner. I can put it up. I know what I'll do. I, I can. Yeah, it's fine. Just leave it with me. <laughs> just leave it with me. Yeah, yeah. I'm not asking you to do editing. I just said I'd like to give it a big banner with cranberry hearts all over it. It's a green banner. So the banner's this colour. Green banner with lots of ha- cranberry-shaped hearts. The end. Moving right along. Oh, check it out. I'm the oh, I'm, so I'm the girl from the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Crisps. Mo- yes. Pigs in blanket. <sighs> Which I'm having a dilemma about this year. Oh, you are having a crisis. For those that don't know, I've been vegetarian for nearly a year. Uh, However, I don't know if I can get through Christmas. Basically. Without having pigs in blankets. Yeah, basically, you're not a great huge fan of Christmas roast dinner. No. But you are of pigs in blankets. Well, yeah, literally the only bit I really like is pigs in blankets. Yeah, you'd you'd just have that. Yeah, you'd have that on your plate without the turkey. I mean, I've got veggie turkey coming this year, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't eat either of them, but... You can't get vegetarian bacon that's quite the same. I have tried two vegetarian pigs in blanket mm. brands now. Mm. And what were you, what was your verdict? They were okay, not great. The Waitrose one was the worst of the two. Where was the other one from? Was it Morrison's? Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Morrison's was all right, but again, the bacon, you just can't get it's decent not the vegetarian same, is it? bacon. Whereas Waitrose, I'm saying it now, here, Waitrose vegetarian and vegan range. Shit. The food all tastes weird. Like it's weird got how? Weird flavour to it. It's not nice. I don't know like what they. Soap? Yeah, do you know what? It is almost a little bit soapy. Ooh. Yeah, it's not nice. Sorry, sorry, Waitrose. Pick up your, your game. We don't always shop in Waitrose, by the way. We're not. Just has just one at the top it's of our It's the closest lane. one to our yeah. house. I'm mean, lazy. What can I say? Right, pigs in blankets from Mackey's of Scotland. Mackey's do good crisps. I'm saying it now. Mackey's. Well, no pressure on them. Well, they do do good crisps. They do great haggis flavour. Oh, can I see if I can have them? Oh, yes. Allergens are capitalised. Oh, it's got pigs in blanket flavour seasoning. Yeah. Which is just sugar. Yeast extract powder, onion, onion powder, salt, yeast powder. P- pigs, <laughs> and buttermilk pigs panda. and blankets. Panda, <laughs> I can't talk today. Yeah, I can eat this. Why don't you talk about coffee again? You seem to be doing all right then. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's have another sip of coffee. No, I can't have coffee and You can eat these. Together. Yeah. Smells like sage. And yeast I'm, not really, I'm not really getting sage. Now. They're so good. I've had several pigs in blanket crisps. Wow. A lot of the supermarkets do wow. them. A lot of the supermarkets do them. I'm going to have one more, though, before I make my... Pro- I think I better as well. My proclamation. Oh, I've got two. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I think I better have one more.
Three point five out of four. Is that good or is that? Well, it's bad? only it's only a point five out of four. I've, that's because I've done that to give myself somewhere to go. They're really good. I'm giving it four out of four. Let's no. Let's give it four point five. You can't four. do that. I've capped it at four. I, I yeah I yeah. Okay. I've capped it at four. I've uncapped it. No, I've got you a giant, can't. I've got a giant corkscrew. Took it out. It doesn't work. This, that's like trying to defy the laws of physics. The corners are capped yeah. at four. It these crisps. These crisps defy the laws of physics. They don't. They but do they now. Are, they are very good. Those Excellent. are the best pigs in blankets. Accuracy. I don't think they're particularly accurate. No, accuracy zero. They don't but, taste like pigs. But they've in got a little at bit all. of bacon in there, but they've also got a little bit of the sausage flavour, which is which is what you'd want. But they remind me a bit of um Golden Wonder you I think they still do, but you can only get them online. Sausage and tomato flavour, which was amazing. Mackie's turkey and stuffing. Uh I don't know if I've had these yet. I love turkey and stuffing crisps. I'm saying it now. I, I always look forward to Christmas and when the turkey and stuffing crisps come out. And before you say, oh, walkers do sensations, chicken and stuffing, they're not as good. Sorry. Turkey and stuffing crisps are very good. I mean, what I have to say about the... Uh, I think you can have those. The pigs in blankets crisps, the texture of the crisp, it was slightly thicker and... Mackies. It, yeah, they're Tell good. Tell you, Mackies are good crisps. Yes, this is fine. Yeah, they're good. I wonder if, like, it's... Because the bar did was Scottish as well, and they did really good fizzy drinks. Yeah, Scotland. Ooh, place to be. That's... A, don't... Uh, what is that? Oregano? That's a good smell. You're smelling stuff on like, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Wow. Where did you get these? Cornershop.co.uk. Mmm. Really getting the stuffing. Okay, why do these taste like sausages to me more than the sausages, mm. the pigs in blankets ones? Mmm. That though. is nice. They are. That is really they're exceptional. Subtle. They're not as um, overpowering as some. Turkey and stuffing crisps, which they tend to go, some of them go a bit too heavy on the stuffing. Some go a bit too heavy mm. on the turkey. This, perfect. It's, it's a subtle flavour. The aftertaste, if you just let it sit in your mouth for a bit. Well, it is sitting in my mouth because I've got it all stuck in my teeth. <laughs> yeah, so good. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh. Four out of four. Whoa. My second four out of four is Christmas. What can I say? What was your other four? Four corners out of four. What was your other one? Oh, that. What did I give the pigs in blankets flavour? Crisps. 2.5. No, these. Oh, those. What, I, I don't give, know. What did you give them? I think I gave. Did I give them four and a half? Uh, yeah. But I know I, you I, say no. Well, this gets the same. These are like twins. They're both really delicious. Very nice. Very nice. That's annoying. Don't do Borat. Bowl of chips. Yes. Chips. What, what, what chips are these again? What's the name? Um, something Bartlett or something? Bartlett, Radlett or something. Anyway, I'll put up a picture. They're, they're, they're really good chips. They're, they're good the, the bar, air fryer. our favourite chips. These haven't cooked properly because... Our, well, we didn't warm up the air fryer for long enough. No. So well, sure, I can soggy. put them back in for a bit. No, they seem all No, right. they'll burn. Uh, so, we're not doing chips. Just some chips. That we might at some point. Oh, that's a good idea. We're doing ketchup. But not just any ketchup, Christmas ketchup from Sauce Shop. We have spiced cranberry, stuffing ketchup. Is the Sauce Shop called the Sorcerer? Is the Sauce Shop called the Sorcerer? What? You, you said they were from the Sauce Shop. Sauce Shop. The Sauce Shop. Was he called the Sorcerer? Who? The Sauce Shop seller. Or the Sauce Shop. Okay, it's not funny anymore, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we've, lost, <laughs> we've lost traction. And Brussels sprout ketchup. Let's try first of all. Let's smell them first. Can't smell it. Oh, we can smell it better from the bottle. Let's smell from the bottle. Get us the cranberry ketchup. Spiced cranberry ketchup. Spiced cranberry. <laughs> Ooh, 
That smells like spiced cranberry. That smells like cranberry with like pepper. What makes it ketchup in it. though? Yeah, I don't know. What's the ingredient? Vinegar. It's probably vinegar. Vinegar and sugar or something. And I'll put my contact as and in something wrong, so you tell me what that says. It says cranberries, white grape vinegar, brown sugar, onion, garlic, sea salt, orange zest, and spices. Mystery spices. Okay. Yeah, that smells good. Right. Well, let's give this a go. All Grab right. a chip. Let's chip it up. The, uh, this idea doesn't totally disgust me. My chip's a bit... Yeah, I told you the chips aren't flaccid. right because the air fry went funny. Normally it does perfect chips. I spat a lot then. Did you? Yeah. Is that because you were disgusted? Yeah. Well, that wasn't what I expected. I was just... I was... I was distracted by the chip being soggy. Shall we put them back in for a bit longer? Yeah, they're horrible. We've crisped our chips. We have returned with sufficiently... Are they still soggy? It's fine, let's just get this over with. Right, cranberry... They're still soggy. Well, should I... No, something's gone wrong in the process. Yeah. Ah, it's hot. After you were like, these are the nicest chips ever. Yeah, normally are, but look. They might be a bit hot right now. I don't see how cranberry can be nice with potatoes. See, I thought this was going to be all right, but that's not actually very nice. That's not very nice. It's because the vinegar mixed with the cranberry what? is wrong. It's like one flavor cancels out the other. That might be nicer on vegetables, like on green vegetables. It's not it's or not, on meat. your finger in, just have it on its own. It's not very nice. Sorry, sauce shop. That might work. It's kind of cranberry saucy. That might work with turkey or chicken or something. Yeah, but then why not just have cranberry sauce, which does work with turkey? Yeah. Mix it in the vinegar. Need to. Whatever, bit of, my, good whatever bit of my tongue at the back, both sides that registers, whatever flavour that's sour? registered. Yeah. Is picking up on that. It's really sour. That's it. It's sour. Not, not fat sour. <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. Whatever it is, it doesn't go well with chips. What's your favourite dip with chips? Well, frit sauce is very good, which the Continentals love. Yeah. Well, frit sauce is mayonnaise mixed with. Is it? It's must? kind of. Uh, yeah, no, I like mustard. mixing mayo and mustard together. Mix it up in a bowl. Mm. But that's pretty damn good. However, the new Heinz truffle mayo with chips oh my, oh, whoa. is mind-blowing. It's something else, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we went through... I mean, the, the tubes aren't that big. Went through it in a day. No. Yeah. It wasn't just us two, though. Everyone was... No, it was. No. No, it wasn't and a I day. I put it on burger, and I had it with chips. <laughs> it was. It was a tiny okay, little bit Okay, it's a small left. tube. Though. Yeah, they're not very big, but um, we need to get some more because it was, that was very good. That was exceptional. Well, you give it that out of... I'm going to give it, like, one because I wouldn't... Yeah, that's I don't, not... I don't that know, work. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know when to eat that. That would just... No, it doesn't work. Sorry. Yeah. Nice idea. It doesn't work. Yeah. So what's this one? Stuffing. Stuffing. Stuffing ketchup. It smells like stuffing. I think this could be good. I, but then, then again, I thought the cranberry was going to be all right. Can we see the ingredients? Yeah. I'm not liking the smell. No, it smells like Christmas dinner. So it's, the main ingredient is onion. How can it be good? She don't like onion. Onion, 73% onion. Then we Yeah, I'm getting that. That's probably why <laughs> I, I smelled it and just went, mm. it's Onion ketchup. Onion, brown sugar, white grape vinegar. Oh, I'm not going to have any. Oh, you can't. It's, it's got breadcrumbs in it. Yeah, like oh, proper. there's a whole load more ingredients. It's got vitamins in it. Iron, niacin, thiamine. Then yeast, salt, sage, parsley, garlic. I mean, good. I'm glad it's got gluten in it. Now, this is... This is better. Mm. Is it a chip ketchup, though? Look, sorry, I have to say, I only want Heinz ketchup with my chips. 
I don't want other kinds of ketchup. They've never lived up to the ketchup name. Would you agree? It's like your 10th one. Yeah, because I like it. What? I haven't had lunch either. <laughs> yeah. Our lunch has been um, cranberry chocolate orange. Okay, no, this is, uh, chips. this is actually really good. <laughs> Would you have that in a burger? Oh, in a burger, yeah. Okay. Burgers for fact, dinner then. I'm planning to. We made, oh my God, we made the nicest peri-peri mm. mayonnaise the other day. Oh, it, was, mm. it was my daughter's birthday and she requested these... Um, halloumi mm. burgers for dinner but the sauce that goes with them mm. was a peri peri sauce made with literally just mm. roasted peppers roasted garlic what a, what else was in there oh and chopped red onion you blitz it in the uh blendy thing what's it called the blender <laughs> no it's not a blender <laughs> blitz it in the food processor with some salt pepper and olive oil and then mix that with mayonnaise and oh no there was chili one red chili and make sure to blitz the garlic in as well was, wasn't it so phenomenal that, we're on a food channel now but yes it was uh, phenomenal it was very like good. oh 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 no i forgot the main bit so when you're roasting the peppers you cut a lemon in half and put it in the roasting tin with the peppers and onion and I don't know what happens. In the end, in the blender, you scoop out the lemon interior and put it in the blender with the peppers. This is taking way too long. I know, you do take a long time to oh. explain things. Weeze it all together. Put I know, the, I I'm, bore myself. I'll put the recipe up now. I, right. I bore myself Sandy, with the details. you can't give that anything. I'm giving that four out of four. Four corners. Whoa. I am having that on a burger later tonight. Wow. That's freaking That's amazing. That's high praise from a... Freaking amazing. That's my third four. Can we pause for a second? Because I think you've got cranberry sauce on your nose. Probably. Rudolph. Yeah, and in your moustache. Right. Okay, that's great. All right. Wow. Wow. Bertie's stuffing sauce or ketchup, I've seen it's called. Bertie's stuffing ketchup from Sauce Shop. Your cranberry sauce, ketchup with, with fowl. Your stuffing ketchup, excellent. Right. Unfortunately, we're now onto the one that I'm not looking forward to because it's probably my least, I was going to say my least favourite Christmas food. However, it's probably one of my least favourite foods full stop. The only way that this ketchup that we're about to have now could be worse is if it was broccoli ketchup. What's worse, broccoli or this thing? Broccoli, worse part I said oh. it. Exactly. I've already said. So it's not as bad <laughs> for you. It's not as bad as broccoli. No. Says the man who he will have broccoli in Stilton soup. Yeah. And it, like it because it's disguised and and it's the stench of broccoli when it's cooking. Yeah, it doesn't smell. Good. And these don't smell good either when they're being cooked, when they're going in, or when they're coming out. Wow. This is Brussels sprout ketchup again from Sauce Shop. From the sorcerer. Yes. From the sorcerer dear. Yeah, it smells a bit sprouty. Oh, God, that made the back of my throat go. I mean, I can't see it, but it might be nice in a burger. It I, looks disgusting. I Look at that. My hatred for sprouts is such that, that my gag reflex is going. I cannot imagine that being nice with chips. I may have it mixed with in a burger or something. Yeah, cat's still going to hate shit. Whoa, she's just the best flip ever. All right, go on. You can she's have it first. She's a ninja. I've got That's amazing. Okay. Up. You gotta soak yourself up for it. Okay, I'm gonna spill all this. Does it taste very spouty? I'm not sure you're gonna like it. It's oh, a bit great. cabbagey. Oh, great. It's basically like cabbagey flavor with vinegar. It's mushed vegetables with a bit of vinegar thrown in. I like it, but I love sprouts, especially with chestnuts. But I, I, I do, or with parmesan. I actually don't know if and, I want to do butter. it. I've been filming a long time. And my this actually, I my quite, enthusiasm has waned. I wouldn't have it with chips, but okay, I'll try a bit. The gag reflex goes because I know what it is. Oh, <coughs> it's the smell of like school dinners. Let's see your face. No, let's see your beautiful face. Nope. 
that's not too bad because the vinegar sorts it out. But there is that stench. When it first goes in, it's like, all I can taste is vinegar. <laughs> but then there's that horrible cabbagey stench. Mm, have but, another. No. Just have another. No, it's got cabbagey. Okay, just for purposes of thoroughness. I'm like, I'm just blown away at the sight of Paul eating Brussels sprouts in any form. It's the smell <laughs> inside my head. <sighs> it's the smell. But I will say, if this is going to surprise you, I think I prefer that to the cranberry sauce one. What? Not by much, but I do. I appreciate I'm bringing a lot of baggage with me. A lot. To, to the Brussels sprouts one. And yeah. I know some of that is colouring my attempts you've, to digest it. <laughs> you've got to put the baggage out of your mind. Oh my God, you've gone mental with that. That's was really nice. <laughs> I, I didn't check if I could eat that. Oh, well, you have now. Mm. Great. Yeah, I can. That's Two fine. weeks of headaches. <laughs> and I've already had mm. like three days of one. Um, no, it's fine. Mm. I mean, I guess that's stuffing, so it has to have bread in it. We Oh, let's wash it down with tea. So oh. back to oh uh, God, lovely hot go. drinks. I'm only doing what I did and get we two. haven't given the four. Oh. Have we given any of them? Oh, we gave that one out of four corners. Stuffing, I gave four. Brussels sprout. I'll give it two and a half. I'm going to give it one and a half because I did prefer it to the gravity sauce one. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it two because I, I probably won't ever buy it. I might have it. I would it. get that stuffing one again. But our peri-peri sauce, I'd give like ten corners. Mm. Sorry, it's just reminding because I thought I'd have the Brussels sprout one in a burger. But then if I was having a burger, would I rather have that or the peri-peri sauce? Okay, we're not here I'd to rank the peri-peri, the peri-peri sauce. sauce, which was homemade and not from a corner shop or any shop. Mold wine travel sweets, aka car sweets. Now, I've never really understood that. What's, I mean, yes, I do like if we go anywhere in a car, I do have to go and buy sweets. It's, what is that about? But you don't buy, okay. I don't buy them in a tin. You like, don't buy like, them in the tin. Like a granddad. I was just about to say, my girl's granddad actually does buy sweets in a tin like that and he leaves it in his glove compartment right so the car sorry i've never really understood what but i guess that's maybe they what... last longer like you just you tend to get gummy sweets yeah and they they will fall out of the pocket shall i just bear with me I can't do it. What's going on? Why do you do you you biting it open? Too hot in this jumper. Can't get it open. I'll do it. No, I need a knife or something. Do you want me to try? With your hands, that's not nice. I've got nails. <laughs> that's not a knife either. <laughs> Should I get a knife? All right, pressure's on. I've got to get this open by the time you're back. Tolly's just listening. That hurt. Ow. Oh, I just can't the door frame. This is just sorry about this, everyone. It's just... <laughs> Hey, do you like my new Christmas jumper? It's got Grogu on it. Baby Yoda. Oh, okay. No, you are re- No, your hand. Oh my God. That's, that's so already, anxiety inducing. My hand's already ruined, so just deal with it. That's so, like, no. Just the, the blade is just fl- floating in the air. I'm floating in the air. <laughs> <laughs> like a razor blade. Look like standard bottle sweets. Very or slightly, as um, one, slightly dusty. One of my daughters called them yesterday, ball sweets. Mm. Don't have a smell. At the moment, don't have much of a taste. 
They haven't got a card mm, to put No, me. they do, they do. OP. <coughs> oh. oh my god. You yeah, calm down, my <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more annoying than that. Mmm, these are great. Mmm, yeah, quite nice. Mm. Mm, quite nice, quite subtle. I don't find them subtle at all. They, they've got quite a strong flavour. Maybe my taste buds are buggered. Mmm, <laughs> COVID. Mm. No, because maybe you had too many um, ketchups. Mmm. Yeah, they're nice, they're all right. Yeah, they're they're exquisite. What flavours have they got in them? Mulled wine flavour, travel sweets. Oh. Yeah. They, they don't specify. 2.5 out of 4. Mm. It's higher than 50%. 4 out of 4. Wow, As a Christmassy like treat. Yeah, I love them. I'd actually buy them when it's not Christmas. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, that was Christmas Shop Corner, which... I don't know about for you, but for us, it seemed to last about a year. <laughs> it did go on for ages. We hope you've stuck with us. If you have stuck with us throughout all of this Christmas shop tasting, you deserve a prize. Yeah. So here is your prize. Yeah, Christmas image. Yeah. Again, to make you happy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So this was just a bit of a ramble for you lot. Yeah, uh, sorry. Before, before, well, to watch over Christmas if you are by yourself. If you can be bothered. You can spend it with us. <laughs> if you can be bothered. If you'd be bothered to get through the whole thing. Um, I think this will probably be our last video of the year. So it's probably a good time to just say thank you all for sticking with us. It's been, um, yeah, it's been a challenging year for everyone, hasn't it? Uh, and it certainly threw a few spanners into our works because we did have digitize a live plan for this year which is now moved to september next year fingers crossed um and yeah a lot of the things we were planning to do we didn't do however you know we we spun <laughs> bloody cat we spun he's opening the door himself let him do it just let him do it okay we spun silk out of adversity <laughs> Uh, yes, we, we started. We started did. the year with Digitizer Deluxe. Yep. Uh, and collaborating with some of our favourite people. Then, due to lockdown, I did Lost Footage. If you've already watched our Patreon video, I've been over all this. Uh, and then we ended up having to. Well, I had to, I had to get you on the channel. Yeah. Because <laughs> we couldn't do Sorry. stuff. I couldn't do stuff with Gannon. Yeah. Um, but I think you make a very good addition to the channel, dearest. Oh, that's very kind uh, of you. And you're here to, to stay now. Whether they like it or not. <laughs> yeah, it's just convenient. At least until the, the vaccine house. comes out. No, you're here now. You're here for the duration. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we'll con continue to have you in videos forever. But, um, but yeah, I'm as sorry, I say... Sorry, I've been so distracted God, why are you by picking this. At me? I don't know what it is. What is that? I was trying to ignore it and I couldn't. A bit of plastic off of the mulled wine sweets. Oh. Um, yeah, the uh, yeah, so we did story time, which you know when we started doing the videos at the start of this year, we tried to do, which is why we've been on the sofa all year. We wanted it to feel a little bit cosier. Yeah, um, a bit more intimate. A little bit more, yeah, intimate and a little bit more one on one with you. At mm. some point, we probably will go back to to desk stuff. We might continue to keep the sofa for certain things. Um, it's certainly easier for us to set up. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like, it's like about three times easier um, to set up. And and it doesn't have the barrier of the desk, so it does feel a little yeah, bit more Yeah, that intimate. was always the plan. It was the plan. That's why we yeah. did it like that. Um, and next year, uh, I mean, yeah, put, let's put it this I way. Would, can I just say, because Paul is do, wary yeah, of could doing... Could I just interrupt, she says. May I just interrupt? Paul is wary of doing more story times, but I personally really enjoyed them. So if you would be interested in hearing more story times we filmed the first part of um chernobyl. of his no. chernobyl's journey his Ch chernobyl story and then you didn't want to do any more because you thought people weren't going to be interested in well, it well they drifted off so, over the course of that i mean you know bear in mind it's a big commitment the the monster hunter one was kind of over three hours and me just waffling on 
And, yeah. and the first Chernobyl bomb was an hour. <laughs> but so, they're such good, unique stories. Well, what, if you're interested in hearing them, please would you comment below? So maybe it, oh, that's a sign. Um, Cause it might encourage us to, yeah. to sit and film it. Cause however, I like having them just as a memory, just how, sort of as a captured however, story. However, something I would like to do in 2021 is some sort of digitizer podcast. Now that might be a good place for story time. Also, I want to do more audio plays like we've done yeah. for the Christmas special. That was great. Yeah. So, oh my God, what are they doing up there? Uh, so next year, we didn't know how this year was going to pan out. Hopefully, if COVID gets under control, we can start filming with other people again. Um, get Gannon on a little bit more regularly than he's been able to this year. You know, do some stuff with Suze and Ash, perhaps Ashens if he's up for it and others. Um and yeah just just watch this space really a lot of the time most of the as with this year most of the things we've done have been quite spur of the moment mm, um, yeah and i like it that way because it just keeps it varied so so it's just to say thank you for for watching us this year we're not the biggest channel on youtube but we do know that our audience our regular audience seem to bloody love us and that isn't something we take for granted especially this year which we know uh yeah, you know, a lot of you came from Digitizer the show, and a lot of you were sort of Barshans or Cheap Show fans who were here for Paul and Eli. So it particularly means a lot when you stick with Sanya and I. Um, yeah. Because, you know, well, I was some bloke off of Teletext 25 years ago. Um, not young. <laughs> so, so those of you who sort of, you know, who decided to sort of join us and as the oldest YouTubers in town. Um, it means a lot to us because yeah, we love doing this. Yeah, uh, We really love doing this. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's something that, you know, I'm not, I don't think we're intended to sort of give up anytime soon. And we love the fact that we, most of you are sort of open-minded enough to just let the channel be whatever, really. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think we'll always come back to sort of the baseline of, of these sort of videos and the, Toy Story ones that we do with Gannon um, but you know allowing us to sort of deviate from time to time into other stuff talking you know, of go and watch Lost Footage not many of you have it's really bloody good especially the last two episodes um, anyway so uh, yeah thanks thanks for listening through this yes well, I we will say that you have a great Christmas and New Year yeah if you want to check us out on Patreon there's no obligation of course but you do get a bunch of extra stuff we do extra exclusive videos on there just chatty yeah ones. the one dollar patrons get um get the videos early sometimes they get exclusive videos sometimes they get blogs five dollars or above um you you get all sorts of bits and bobs yeah blogs your album yeah you well, my album? latest song yeah which is half an hour latest song album. yeah yeah, yeah they got sorry your free, punk song so that's half an hour long yeah. um so yeah there's all sorts of whatever i'm working on and they I got kind the of, panto script they got the panto script yeah they're gonna get unedited audio of the pantos yes the paul and eli one i think yeah and our one because <laughs> we both oh god our one us. was a mess mess i love it and they got early access to the panto as well so it's yeah. not just early access to and, videos and the ghost hunt in the woods which that's yeah. the other thing we're going to do more supernatural world next year because i know a lot of you like us doing the on location stuff <laughs> and uh, we like it and we love doing it and so um expect we may may do them as one you know the occasion one here and there or we may do it as a series because i'd like to go a bit further afield um, well we were talking if ashens is willing to have we haven't, us. Even, we haven't, haven't even mentioned, mentioned it that i mentioned it to him no, we have. I was going to say we haven't mentioned sure. it to him. UFO hunting, but we in heard that there was Uf, <laughs> that there were UFOs up his yeah. way. So yeah. I heard today. Oh no, that's really off topic. I heard today that okay. I don't even know where this. What the source? I was of trying to wrap this up. But anyway, go on. Someone said that apparently there's like this galactic federation that the the government, yes. the British government, and the US government yes. know about it's it, and Trump knew about. Oh, has it? Yeah. It's, oh. Some nut. Anyway. Okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas. We'll see you very early in 2021 with uh, Gannon and I talking about the Rubik's Cube. Oh, has that not gone out yet? No. Oh. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. In so for have a the, treat. Have the best Christmas you're able to in the circumstances. Stay safe. 
Get, yes. Get drunk, eat plenty of food. Thank you to Kathy for Thank you, Kathy. our awesome Merry nutcracker. Christmas. Um, and yeah, once again, thanks for sticking with us. Merry Christmas. See you later.